Trains are running again on the Cambrian coastline between Harlech and Pocheli in the first time in around 10 months. The line was shut when the 150-year-old road and rail Bruit Bridge across the Doyrid at Penryn Daedraith was found to be unsafe. Well, now there's a new bridge, although, as Roger Pinney reports, motorists will still face delays. It isn't a big bridge, it's just a few hundred yards from one end to the other. But for the last ten months without it, people living and working around here have struggled. And on the resumed service today, tickets were selling fast. For many local people, this is how they get to work, go shopping or travel to school and college. It's very important, it's so much easier just travelling backwards and forwards. Um, it's probably a lot safer, not having to go a long way around with all the traffic, so it's really, really good. Well, I use it quite a lot on the, um, to come into Perth Welly to do some shopping, uh, for business as well, like banking, that sort of stuff. So it's quite important. You can't really overstate the importance of this line to the local area. All year round, it provides a commuter service back and forth through this part of North West Wales. But it also links into the UK's intercity network, and that's important for tourism. Little wonder then the flags were out today. This is how the train we travelled on was greeted at Crickieth Station. Whilst earlier the local assembly member, Lord David Ellis Thomas, unveiled a plaque marking the reopening of the line between Harlech and Putheli. Talking with local tradespersons and indeed with local tourism, it has affected this year. And I think our challenge now is to ensure that we get that message about that this line is open from today and through until December the 17th. We are reducing our fares on this line now by up to 30%, and that is just for local journeys. So we want the local people to come back as well. Good news for rail users then, but the new £20 million Brewitt Bridge isn't fully finished yet. Motorists will have to wait for their part to reopen. In a car, they'll still be that 16-mile round trip well into the new year. All that we would say is that there is going to be a bridge here after the spring that will be there permanently for them. There won't be a toll on it, it'll be a two-way bridge. There'll be a shared use footway and cycle route on it, so it will be a good resource for them for the, for the future. So today, a job half done then. But here they'll tell you it is an important step in the right direction.